What's up, everybody? It's your boy DC coming to you from that grind house. Welcome in the Hater Nation. How y'all doing out there? We got a league game for you. This is my league uh, called the League 20, which is obviously Madden 20. Uh, going up against the Redskins, too much sauce. He is 7 and 1, so he's uh, definitely steamrolling a couple cats in our league. I'm 8 0 right now. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. Like I said, he's the Redskins. I'm the Bills. Y'all know my bills like to eat, so we're going to show every single play uh, only because it's about, you know, for the franchise, just in, just in case a couple of the franchise guys want to watch it. So uh, he starts out here in the run. Go ahead and shut that down with the run defense, running cover four. C comes out in the three wide receiver set. Back just trying to play the middle. Nice little shutdown. Felt like he should have got the pick, but that's okay. He doesn't get the pick. Still coming out on wide, three wide receiver set. Finds the soft spot in my coverage. Nice little dot over the middle or in the, uh, on the scene. First down, shuts down his run again. Like I said, run defense is nasty. I'm running a cover yeah. four. So ain't no different than uh, that dude got muscle. Really? Muscle cramps? Boy, if you don't get yourself out there and play, it's mad you out here with muscle cramps. Try and shut down on the. On the uh, Nice little in route. Couldn't get there. Users not what it used to be. They don't get an animation, so I'm kind of worried, but I should have had that. He out here testing my user. Throws to the outside. Get a PI. Cannot believe I got a pass interference. Uh, puts him on the one. He runs goal line. I run goal line. Just about if I can get the block sheds to, to shut it down. Got the black shares, but he kicks it to the inside, gets a nice little score. He's up 7-0, uh, strikes first. Definitely a good way to start the game. Kicks his field goal, takes the points. Like I said, we're going to try and show every play. Uh, not near the end of it when it kind of got like it was pointless to show him, but we went ahead and showed almost every play we could here getting ready to kick the ball off and at this point my thought process is, is all right well he struck he, he he definitely strike first gotta come back put seven on there get it tied up uh looking to shut down what he's doing in the passing game but just trying to make those adjustments as i tell everybody adjustments and stick skills that's what this game comes down to adjustments and stick skills you can run as long as you know your personnel and make the adjustments for your personnel so, of course, I'm going to come out running the ball just to kind of see what kind of defense he's going to run. Get shut down early. He looks like he's running the cover two. Run it again. Kick it to the inside. Get a nice little gain. Uh, I believe it's, it's third and three. But so we're going to run this little boot play to the outside. Sees that he don't have anybody in there. Make an adjustment. To kick it to my outside. And I know that with Corey Grant, as long as I can get to the edge and get a little sticky, I can I can make moves. I can definitely make moves. Now I decided to go to the boot. My guy, he was he was covered a little bit. Felt like I probably could have thrown it, but go ahead and run up the field with Cam Newton. So now I'm gonna switch to a shorter offense. Start out running the ball again. Good little game. Now we're going we're gonna to test the passes. It still look like he in cover two. I think I can attack the outsides. D didn't switch. I got to switch my man here because uh, I can go to a four tight end or a four, four wide receiver set, but I still got my tight end out there. He follows the tight end. Hit him over the top. Nice little touchdown. He was, he was looking for the drag, but I hit him on the outside. Easy touchdown on the cover two. <clears throat> and then we're going to kick the field goal just in case. Uh, get this... Uh, He'll go, go up seven. All right, do exactly what I wanted to. Now we're still looking to shut him down defensively. We get the nice little stop there. Still running my uh, my run defense. Play the short route. CZ wants that, that deeper in. Dumps it off. Nice hit stick by Alexander. Loving it. And we on the 18 that quick. All we got to do is go down and score. Play it a little conservative. We're going to run the rock. 
kick it to the outside. Should have cooked this man. I felt like, you know, Grant's a little bit faster, but hey, what can you do? Kick it up the middle. Get there. Tried to truck and fumbles the ball. Cannot believe it. I tried to truck his man. End up fumbling. Uh, it says safety, but, you know, Madden has fixed the issue, even though it's going to say the wrong thing. The issue is still kind of fixed. So he hit me with the nice little out route to the outside. Audible's is defense. I want to run. I'm running hard flats. I'll, I'll, I tend to run hard flats when um, when it's short yard situations. He ended up running, getting the first down. I tend to run the flat, hard flats. Not all the time, but I do run them when in short yard situations. So we still shutting down the run for uh, short gains. Trying to get guys in the backfield. Stop. Follow his guy. I leave him. Good way to stay steadfast and watch me leave his guy. And he passed a nice little dot over the middle to cook my user. And at this point, I felt like I was there. Didn't get it. You know, still hit me with dots, but I'm starting to pay attention. Okay, he's running levels. He's going to run two guys. Either it's a drive route or it's levels. He's going to run two guys in the middle. So we're going to try and shut that down. Catch me, catch me slipping. He caught me slipping. Nice time to run the screen. I didn't pay attention to pick it up to uh, pick six. And I normally do, but that time I didn't. So he hits me with a nice little screen play when I, when I uh, got aggressive. Caught me with my hand in the cookie jar. Snapped it back. So uh, he, he goes up 14-7. So now, same thing. Stay steadfast. Got to gotta get a score. Tie it up. That's all I'm looking to do here. Run the rock. Get shut down on first down. That's okay. Going back up in coverage. Roll out the pocket. Nice little uh, post route to my tight end for the completion. Nice little dot. Run it again. Try and kick it to the outside. Don't get there. Run the play action. See my guy is open. Gets the PI on my side on a pick. I lucked out on that one. I lucked out on that one. So we're going to run it again. It's on the nine-yard line. Take it up the middle. I'm not scared. I know we got to fumble, but I still like Corey Grant as long as he don't fumble twice. Kick it to the outside. And he's so, he's so fast, man. He's 96 speed. He's so fast that he can get there and make those plays. So we score we, we, we score again. We tie it up. We look into uh, shut down him on defense. I pick up that he's running levels. The levels is a good play to run against users. But I know how to shut it down. Now I know what he's kind of running. We just got to shut down that running game. Continue to shut it down, as you can see there. He decides to run it again on second and six. Good time to run it. I didn't think he was going to run it. I thought he was going to pass it. First and 10. I'm expecting a run here. He drops back in the coverage. Catches him on that out. Lock him down completely. See, he's going to run up. Missed my guy. That, that irritates me sometimes. Like, uh, you know, open field tackles are tough this year. Try and shut down that middle. He throws to the outside. Bad pass. He throws it out of bounds. It's on third and two. Decide to bring pressure again. Back out of it because I seen that he was in a bunch. And I know that wheel route will absolutely cook me. Shut down that middle. He throws to his guy. Cannot believe it. Off his back foot. Game for about 25 yards up the field. Now I'm a little irritated because we, we look like we starting to lock him down. But, you know, he gets the flat route up for 20 yards. Can't have that. Can't have that. So I'm running my run defense or running my pass defense. Shutting down what he likes to do. Getting him to roll out the pocket. Now, if you don't notice here, I'm shutting down what he's doing offensively. Now at this point, is literally just about getting it there. He hits me with the the uh the verticals. Now nice route. I wasn't calling that, but he I end up getting it. Uh, he ended up getting it. So he's on the one yard line. He goes for a little QB sneak. We shut it down. Now he's on the three. Takes it to the to the RPO. We shut it down again. We shut down the RPO. Still running goal line defense. Look at what he's doing. I'm thinking that he may pass because he's taking a little bit longer, but he's also potentially killing the clock. I'm not worried about killing the clock. I'm just trying to shut him down. So 
He kicks it to the outside. Potentially, I thought he scored there, but he did not. It didn't give it to him. So he runs back to the outside. We shut him down on fourth. He decides to go for it. It's three seconds to go. 14-14. I'm in my end zone. The only thing I'm doing, looking to do, is just get out the end zone and throw the ball. But we end up we end up getting, getting out because you can't throw it away because then it'll be an intentional safety. So we're going to go in the second half. I get ball at half. Kick it to the outside with Grant. Or Darkwa. I'm sorry. That was Darkwa that time. Kick it to the outside with Darkwa. Looking to pass. Looking at what he's he's running. I'm thinking it's a uh, cover two. But he pulls his safety in the box. Backs up. Post snap realizes it is man-to-man -man situation. I just I just roll out the pocket. It's a man-to-man -man situation. Look at it. Says if he runs man-to-man, -man, I should be able to get my guy on the outside. And I missed it. Couldn't believe I missed it. Um, I had to go ahead and punt and give him the ball. So now he got the ball going into the third quarter. Missed my tackle, but we still shut down the run. Like, we're not giving up too much on the run. Still running my cover four for the run. See that he motions the guy in, thinking that it's a pass. It is a pass. I backed up my coverage at the right time. And he throws a, a, a bad pass over. I thought it should have been picked, but I backed up my coverage at the right time. And that's sometimes it's about adjustments. I seen that he was going into a pass play. I backed up the coverage. So now we bring the pressure. We get a sack. We go ahead and get that ball back. He punts me to rock. And now we on the 35. Nice little short run. Second and four. Looking to pass. I know he likes to run that man to man. Nice little man beater on the post route to uh to Brown. Take it to the house. Let's go. Up 20, 21 to 14. I knew he was going to run that cover one. Ran my cover one beater. And we take it to the house for a nice little score. So we up. We're going to be up 21 to 14 here going into the third quarter. At this point, I know that I'm up. Um, a lot of people like to just run up the score. I get a little bit conservative, which sometimes can't hurt me. I let people back in the game. He Thank you very over much. Over the middle. Pick. Got you. So we, we get the nice little pick over the top. So now here, I'm just thinking three runs. If I can get a first down, I can get a first down. If not, I'm just going to take my points, go up two possessions. I want to be up two possessions, and that's important. I know my game. I like to throw stupid picks in these situations. So like I said three runs. Just show them real quick. Three runs, kick my field goal, go up two possessions going into it. Sometimes I get conservative. Um, but I didn't want to make a mistake. I didn't want to get out of field goal range. I want to go up two possessions. So that was my thought process there. Um, can't always, you know, do that. I probably shouldn't play scared, but I know I like to throw picks in key critical situations. It's just, I, I make dumb bonehead mistakes. So I just went ahead and eliminated that in the league. Trying to shut down his, uh, his offense. Like I said, we got his offense pretty much on lock on what he likes to do. Brings the guy over top. I actually end up over pursuing that one. That was my fault. I don't over pursue that time. I shut down the route. We end up getting the sack. So second and 20, we just going to play a little conservative. We're not going to send too much. Like I said, I'm looking to shut down the middles, the middle of the field. He throws the route, end up being out of bounds. Trying to lock up that receiver right there throws over should have been picked but it wasn't the drop pick it's okay we get the ball back third quarter one minute to go just trying to not not make mistakes so i see it i see my guy i don't even i don't even really pay attention my guy was actually open i had enough time to throw it but i didn't I come back and run the same play. He actually covered it, but I see that the guy is open on the other side. So I lock it up. Uh, I, I, I switch up what I was doing and went and threw it to the guy on the other side of the field. So now we rolling. Throw it to the underneath to Kevin White. He can't get there. You know, he was trying second and four. Same situation. Throw to the outside to Zay Jones. Make a nice little stick and get the flag. So now we on the 25. I know that we in field goal range. We up two possessions. So here I can go ahead and I can get a little bit risky. Uh, run the rock. I know Corey Grant is nice. Felt okay. like if I did the double juke, I would have got in. But that's okay. So now we on the goal line. We're on the three-yard line. We're going to try and run it in. 
I make a little motion. Try and run it up the field and I get shut down. So now I go to the five wide and he follows my guy. I should have cut it back, but I did not cut it back. I knew his guy was running there. And anytime somebody's running, you got to cut it back. That stick skill right there. Anytime he's trying to follow him to that edge, you cut it back because most of the times he's just trying to go to the edge because you're trying to get to the edge. Draw back and pass. And he, he, he lurks me. Incredible. And that, that irritates me a little bit. Like I said, I throw dumb picks going down into, into that, uh, that spot but you know it is what it is he rolls out he doesn't get it like i said we playing good defense i'm gonna try and bring a little bit of pressure here he blocks he blocks seven and then he hits me with a nice little out uh i don't know if that i think that was the end route he cooked him gets up the field he's on the 32 now i'm just thinking conservative i'm up two possessions it's fourth quarter just lessen the mistakes eliminate what we doing we go ahead and uh shut that down right there just trying to lessen the mistakes. That's the biggest thing that I want to do. Play bend, don't break at this point. I'm not trying to get, get crazy. He keeps throwing underneath. I'm fine. I'm giving up underneath routes. I give that up all day because I know that I don't want to give up the big play. He has nothing. My man absolutely crushes him, but he doesn't fumble. A little irritated. He runs a screen, but that screen was a little weird. But we go ahead and set the screen play down. It was a little weird, but we shut it down. Drops back in the pass, tries to hit me over the top, end up picking him off that time. And then I just went ahead and stopped. All right. So that's pretty much it for the game, guys. Um, at this point, now I'm just running the ball to run the clock out. Uh, but thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, see you soon with the next game.